33 years after Coming to America opened in theaters, Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall, and all the characters they played returned to Zamunda for Coming to America. I'm Scott Movie Mance. Here's my review. Now, you will be king. But the throne must pass to a male heir. Hakim, it appears you have a son. He must be found. Prepare the royal jet. We are going back to America. Oh, hell no, your majesty. Come on! First, let me start off by saying I love the original Coming to America. It opened on June 29th, 1988. It was directed by John Landis, who also directed Eddie Murphy in Trading Places. And one could make the argument, as I often have, that Coming to America is Eddie Murphy's best movie. It's really funny. It has a big heart. It's a love story. And the production design, especially in Zamunda, is absolutely fantastic. That brings us to the sequel, Coming to America, which is directed by Craig Brewer, who directed Eddie Murphy in one of his very best roles with Dolmite Is My Name. But see what they did with the title, Coming to America, number two in there? Well, that's really clever, and it's really the only clever thing about this movie, I'm sorry to say. So if you haven't already figured it out, I was disappointed by coming to America. Now, I went in with low expectations. I certainly didn't expect it to be as good as the original, but I expected it to be better than this. The original film was fresh, it was funny, and the sequel just falls short on every level, and it's not inspired like the original film is, and I'm sorry to say it just isn't all that funny either. I mean, I chuckled slightly a couple of times, but I certainly didn't laugh out loud like I was hoping to. So the gist of it is that now King Adim finds out that he had a son while he was in New York back in the day. So now he and Semi, his trusted sidekick played by Arsenio Hall, must return to Queens to find the new heir to the empire, bring him over to Zamunda, and groom him to be the new prince. Jermaine Fowler plays his son, and he's as good as he can be. Now, that sounds like a recipe for great comedy, but everything about Coming to America feels like it's recycled, recycled from the original. The same jokes, the same people telling them, and the screenplay just isn't as good. Now, all the supporting characters are back, but they just didn't really feel like they grew enough to make the sequel feel worthwhile. Coming to America leans too heavy on nostalgia, and it just didn't capture the magic of the original film. It had its moments, and I don't want to spoil them here, but it just didn't have enough of them to make it worthwhile. So Coming to America was supposed to open in theaters during the holiday season last year, but obviously because of the pandemic, that did not happen. Its distributor, Paramount Pictures, sold it to Amazon, where it is streaming now at no extra charge to subscribers. So if you want to check it out, if you're curious, it's not going to set you back any money, but just make sure you lower your expectations. Lower than mine were, and maybe you will like it more than I did. I'm Scott Movie Mance. Thanks for watching this review. Please give this video a like, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until the next review, here's looking at you, kid.